larynx. It is a voice box extends from the root of the tongue to the trachea. It starts at the hyoid bone and ends at the level of the six cervical vertebra where the trachea starts. It is length two inches in the male and one and a half inch in the females. It consists of cartilages, ligaments, and muscles. This is the larynx. This is the hyoid bone. This is thyroid cartilage. And this is cricoid cartilage. The larynx ends here and trachea starts. The skeleton of the larynx, number one, thyroid cartilage. It is formed of two laminae with their anterior borders fused together at the angle called laryngeal prominence. Their posterior borders are widely separated from each other and extend this upward to form a superior horn and the downwards to form the inferior horn. This is the superior horn and this is the inferior horn and this is laryngeal prominence. The second cartilage is epiglottis. This is the epiglottis here. It is leaf-like plate of cartilage lies behind the tongue. It has upper end attached to the tongue by median glossoepiglottic fold and two lateral glossoepiglottic folds. The lower end attached, this is the lower end, attached to the back of thyroid cartilage. At the size of the median glossoepiglottic fold, there is depression called vellicula. The third is a retinoid cartilage, pair of pyramidal shaped cartilages, each of which lies side by side on the upper border of the posterior part of the cricoid cartilage. Each one has an apex directed upward and two processes. The first process directed forward and called vocal process and the second directed laterally and called the muscular process. Then cricoid cartilage, it is a ring shape having a narrow anterior arch, narrow anterior and broad posterior lamina. It lies between the thyroid cartilage and trachea. This is the cricoid cartilage narrow anterior arch and the broad posterior lamina and this is the arytenoid cartilage here this is the apex then two processes vocal process and the muscular process this is muscular process and this is vocal process corniculate and cuneiform cartilages Corniculate cartilage, two small cartilages, each one lies at the apex of the arytenoid cartilage. Cuneiform, two small cartilages also, one in front of each corniculate cartilage in the aryepiglottic fold. This is corniculate cartilages at the apex of arytenoid, and this is cuneiform cartilages. Membranes of the larynx, number one, thyrohyoid membrane, attached superiorly, passes deep to the surface of hyoid bone upward to be attached to its upper border, but separated from the hyoid bone by bursa. Inferiorly, it is attached to the upper margin of the thyroid cartilage. It is pierced on each side by, number one, internal laryngeal nerve, Number two, superior laryngeal artery. This is the thyrohyoid membrane here, extends between thyroid cartilage downwards and the hyoid bone upward, and pierced by internal laryngeal nerve and the superior laryngeal artery. Ligaments of the larynx, cricothyroid ligament, extends between cricoid and thyroid cartilages. It has a median anterior part and the lateral parts. The anterior part is thickened and passes between thyroid and the cricoid cartilages. The lateral parts attached below to the cricoid cartilage 
but it has a free upper border called vocal ligament. The vocal ligament extends from the tip of vocal process of arytenoid cartilage posteriorly to the middle of the deep surface of the angle of the thyroid cartilage anteriorly. So extends between arytenoid cartilage and thyroid cartilage. This is two uh, ligaments, the vestibular ligament, and this is a vocal ligament. This is epiglottis here, arytenoid cartilage, corniculate, and the cuneiform cartilages.